Gone are the days where printers were common only in offices or businesses of any kind. Nowadays, technology has made it that we can take printers along with us almost anywhere we go, with a minimal accommodation or installation required to operate them. In this video, we are going to take a look at the best portable printers for travel you can buy. Links to all products mentioned in the video are available in the description. If you have other products you'd like us to review, please tell us in the comments below or visit 9to5printers.com. Three, Fujifilm Instax Share SP3. Also on the top is a row of 10 white LEDs that correspond to the 10 prints in each film pack. Every time you print a picture, an LED goes out. Swapping empty film packs for fresh ones is easy. You press a button on the side to open a large access door. Don't do this if you still have unexposed pictures inside. And remove the empty cartridge. New cartridges have a protective light proof sheet and when the door is closed, the printer automatically removes and ejects this sheet ready for your first print. The color rendition of the print is a little warm and there is quite a lot of contrast. So that subtle highlight details tend to disappear. These aren't really issues, though, because the Instax Share SP3 is about capturing memories, and if anything, the quirky, old-fashioned look adds to their charm. Given the cost of both Instax Share SP3 and its film packs, it's impossible to offer any practical arguments at all for getting one. But of course, it's not about the money. Its appeal is purely emotional offering a permanent physical token of a fleeing event. 2. HP OfficeJet 250 The HP OfficeJet can print pictures and documents in formats ranging from 3x5 to 8.5x14 inches, including letter, legal and envelope sizes. Borderless printing is supported up to 5x7 inches. Printing can be done from any device that can connect via USB or that has Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The printer supports all connection methods mentioned above. It prints up to 10 papers per minute, black and white or 7 in color. And the auto document feeder function supports up to 10 papers. In addition to the printing function, the printer can also serve as a copier and a scanner. At 6.5 pounds, the printer is quite portable for a printer-scanner combo. And you can relatively easily take it with you wherever you go. The device is powered by a fast charging battery that can be charged either via USB or an AC adapter as long as the power source is stronger than 1 amp. Two ink cartridges are fitted inside the printer, one black and one tricolor. And you have the option of using HP's special high yield cartridges with this device. Finally, for ease of use, there is a 2.65 inch touch screen that makes operating the printer a breeze. Epson Workforce WF-110 Epson's smallest printer comes with inbuilt Wi-Fi and a lithium-ion battery that you can charge over USB for true portability. As a member of Epson's Workforce line, it is aimed at the business user and in this case the road warrior, if such thing still exists. It can handle paper sizes from A4 to a DL envelope and can also print on glossy photo paper. At a top speed of 7 ppm, it doesn't claim to print quickly, but it does promise decent print quality thanks to a reasonably high print resolution of 5760 by 1440. The use of pigment ink as opposed to dye ink also helps by delivering more durable, smudge-resistant pages. The Epson Workforce WF-110 is built for the road and it is the smallest and lightest battery-powered inkjet printer we have come across. It's way bigger than thermal tech printers like the pocket-sized brother PocketJet PJ773, but this is essentially a fully featured A4 color printer that has been shrunk to the size of a handbag. Apart from the power and battery power indicator LEDs, all of the controls and the display are hidden and protected by that articulated flap. The display is no bigger than a postage stamp, but it's full color and very informative. It's not a touch screen, so you'll need to use the cursor buttons beside it to select settings and input your Wi-Fi password. To insert or access the inkjet print heads, you simply lift up the inner flap like a car bonnet. And that's the end of that chapter. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. It really grinds my gears.